today's video, I'm just gonna do a playing with all of the new ColourPop launches. I have four different collections that I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, I mean, as you guys know, I'm on the PR list for ColourPop and ColourPop can be quite difficult to keep up with, even for myself as a reviewer. So I just wanted to put some of the recent collections that I wanted to keep for myself in this video, play, swatch, do some demos here and there, all that good stuff. So if you feel overwhelmed by ColourPop, hang out with me, let's dive into the stuff. But first, let's get into our sponsor for today's video. I'm really excited to be working again with Ana Luisa. I've worked with them over the last couple of years because I truly love their jewelry. I wear their jewelry all the time in my videos on a regular basis. And as a wearer of their products for, what, over two years, I've never had anything break. I stand by the quality of their products. They're currently having 20% off site-wide. So I wanted to share with you some of the new pieces that I recently picked up. If you've never heard of Ana Luisa before, they have really high quality jewelry starting at 30 $39, ranging to higher end prices as well. They are a carbon neutral brand from their packaging to their products, so they care about the environment and the impact that they have on the environment. And they offer speedy delivery all over the world. The pieces are great for you to order for yourself, to treat yourself, or of course to gift as well. So let me show you the pieces that I'm currently wearing right now. Everything when you order is going to come in a really nice pouch so that you can travel with jewelry. It won't get tangled up. It's very nice. And so first I have this necklace right here. It is so dainty. I think Ana Luisa does the best job with dainty jewelry right here. I got a few comments the last time I wore this. So that is this piece right here. This is really cool. I don't have a pair of earrings that look like this, but oh my gosh, they're so cool. So I was worried that this would hurt my ear. It doesn't at all. It's really easy to put in. So look, you just take the pointy end. There's no back or anything. Stick it through your ear. And then boom, just like that. And it is so cute. A couple of the other pieces that I got are this double layered pearl hoop right here. I have one from Ana Luisa that's just one pearl, but I thought the second pearl right here would add a little extra pizzazz. So I've been wearing this one as well. It's dainty, but a little bit more oomph, of course, with the second pearl. And then the last new item that I picked up recently is this really cute daisy earring set. I just think it is so adorable for the summer. Like how cute is that? I'm obsessed with these, so these are also super Super duper cute. So anyways, as always, I would highly recommend checking out Ana Luisa. I will have the link down in the description box to shop as well as a discount code for you to use at checkout as well. And I know I've been the reason that so many of you have bought their products in the past and you guys love them as much as I do. So thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get into ColourPop talk. Yeah, it's a lot of ColourPop stuff to talk about. These aren't really reviews. I'll go back and do product updates on these, but I'm just laying out the collections for you, swatching them, playing with them, all of that stuff because it is hard to keep track of as well. So I have the Opal of My Eye collection. I also have this one. I think it's the In the Springs collection. This one is a little bit older, but I haven't played with it yet. I have the Jasmine Criswell. Is that what it is collection? I'll confirm when we get to that, but the lip kits in this look stunning. And then the newest item that I have from ColourPop up are the princess lipsticks. So I want to start off with the collection that I was the most excited about because I feel like if I was the most excited about it, then you guys probably were as well. And that's the opal of my eye collection. And it looks like online, the PR set, the full collection for $82 is out of stock, but everything else is available individually. There's two eyeshadow palettes, two super shock cheek highlighter quads, a body powder, and three so glassy lip glosses. So let's start off with the eyeshadow palettes. I feel like that's the most interesting. So there are two nine pan eyeshadow palettes. I love the overall design and aesthetic of this collection. I absolutely am obsessed with the acrylic packaging here. This one is Shell Shot and then we have What the Shell. I am currently wearing Shell Shot. So before I get into the swatches, I'm going to take you to the tutorial of how I got this look. I like this palette so far. I don't love it. I didn't use every shade, but I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade right here. I actually started off with this shade on the other eye, but it was a little too warm for the look that I was going for. You can kind of see it peeking through. Just ignore that. But I decided I wanted to keep this look very icy and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this on the crease also along the lower lash line. This is a nice shade. It's a little powdery, but still very, very nice. Then I'm going to take this matte 
blue shade. It has some glitters in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over the lid. I'm impressed with this shade. I have to say, I feel like I like the pigment that it gives, and I'm just going to pop this all over the lid. It's not too chalky. It's a good quality blue. So I'm just gonna pack this on the eyelid. I'm using a BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy brush. Pack on this color, no sticky base, no wet brush, and you can see how pretty that is. I'm also gonna use the tip of this brush, and I'm gonna run it along my lower lash line. It's not going to be as opaque when applied like this, but it still gives the effect. Doesn't that look cool? It's out of my element, kind of like the Y2K look. And then I'm gonna use this blue right here, and I'm just gonna pop this using my finger because honestly, it's not the best quality with a brush. I'm just gonna pop this on the outer corner for a little bit of extra pizzazz and dimension. And then same thing on the lower lash line. And then I'm taking this shade right here. It's like a shimmery white and I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner and then underneath the brow bone, like so. That is it for this look right here. I kept it really simple. We'll talk more about the palette in a moment. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with this look, but it definitely allowed me to play with the different colors and formulas. So I'm gonna take you guys in closer. We're gonna turn the lights down. It's gonna become very unflattering on my face when the lights go down, but I think it's important for you guys to see the palette itself. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the Shell Shock palette. So both of these 9 pan palettes are $12 each, and I am not in love with this palette but I do like it so it's very interesting we have a super shock shadow here in the center and the rest are just like a normal formulation so I used this one today I have not yet used the pink I'm gonna fast forward and swatch these so you can see how they look So here are the swatches of the Shell Shocked palette. As you can see, they're pretty sheer. I would say they applied better than they looked, but they still aren't the greatest formula from ColourPop. If you like these kind of tones, I think you will like this palette because there's not a lot of brands willing to come up with a color story like this. But yeah, quality is not amazing, but it is a workable and easy to use palette, but you might need to spend a little extra time. Like for example, you saw this shade. I had to apply it with my finger because I wasn't getting that oomph that I wanted. I feel like these two shades are very similar. So this this is the only eyeshadow palette in today's video that I've used and it's a solid okay. I think it is very pretty and for me the color story would be why this is winning but other than the color story it's not an all that must have palette. Let's take a look at what the shell. So what the shell is going to be a little bit out of my elements because it is more on the warmer side which is not typically what I'm used to. I'm going to quickly fast forward through the swatches so you can see how she looks. This palette right here also swatched the same. You know, they're not amazing. They're a little bit more sheer, but I do think that these are going to apply prettier on the eyelid. There's a couple super shock shades in this palette as well. So overall, based on just my one use and my swatches of these palettes, I would say they are worth the $12. Now, most of the time when you get a good ColourPop palette, they are definitely worth more than what the value is. Here, these are $12 palettes. If you like the packaging, you like the color story, the theme I say go for it it's not a dud but they're also not the most fabulous product from ColourPop. So there are a couple cheek palettes in this collection. They both are the Super Shock Highlighter Formula. So this is Shell Ya, yeah, and this one is My S Shell. So if you were to use this as a highlight palette, obviously I would go for this one. But today I actually used Shell Ya, yeah, and I used this shade right here with a blush brush, and I used this as a blush, and it turned out so pretty. Now I have a highlight over top, but you can see the base color over here. I actually really liked it as a blush. So if you're more on the lighter side, you can get away with using this as a blush quad. These are $12 each as well. I mean, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this palette specifically to use as blush. I used it because it was in front of me, but if it's not for your skin tone, maybe pass. But if you have a deeper complexion, this is perfect. So this is a super shock cheek formula, which is really nice, but there is a learning curve to it. You know, I like to apply these with the sponge, you want to be careful with what base you have underneath, and you don't want to be wearing too much powder, but the Super Shock Cheek Highlight Formula in general, I really enjoy, and this is such a pretty palette. You have this shade, which has a little bit more 
more glimmer. This is like a duochrome shade. This one can be a little bit more wearable. I think that this is going to be beautiful for deeper complexions. If you like the Super Shock Cheek Formula, I definitely recommend this palette. Let's take a look at the lighter one. So Might as Shell is going to be more so for my skin tone. I haven't used this yet. I used a different shade for highlighter. So let's see. I'm excited about this palette. This is a launch that I'm really happy about because I love this formula for a highlight. It's these four right here. And these are really pretty colors. Again, you have a light purple shade. You have a gold, a white shade, a pinky shade. I think that this is probably my favorite item in the collection. I was more excited for the eyeshadow palettes, but now that I'm playing with it, I am more so excited about these Super Shock quads. I love the packaging. The acrylic is really nice and you get some really nice colors. So I would say if you're interested, pick up the one that best suits your skin tone. They are so nice. The formula is really nice. So I'm excited about that. We also have a Soul Shimmering Body Powder. So the packaging you can see is kind of opalescent. I'm not going to swatch this because I don't really care for this formula from ColourPop or Soul Body, I guess. So you can put this all over your body for a glow, but I don't typically do that with these. What I like these for more so are eyelid colors and I don't need a single eyeshadow shade that is this large. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this off. But this is $14. Again, it's an okay formula if you use it as a highlight, but it's best in my opinion as an all-over lid color or a body powder, but I don't use body powders. So this one for me is a pass. Let's get into these So Glassy lip colors. They look like so pretty opalescent shades. So you can buy the full set, all three, for $22. I believe each individually are $8 dollars and they are so pretty. I love this formula from ColourPop. I'm interested to see what they do with these specific colors because if you take a look, right, they're going to be sheer. So let's go ahead and swatch them, but they are so pretty. I'm going to put one on. Don't you worry. This first shade is Sunshine Required. So they're going to be clear glosses with a more opaque glitter. My goodies right here has more of a pink glimmer. That looks pretty. And then Beach Please is gonna be the winner for me. This has a more purple reflect. So they are opalescent clear lip glosses, so you probably don't need all three, but they just look so pretty. Let me try this one on. I have a little bit of the House Labs from Lady Gaga lip crayon in mauve matte underneath. So I think having a lip color underneath is going to bring out the colors of the glimmer more. The other lip gloss formula that I'm familiar with from ColourPop are the Luxe glosses. They're in the round packaging as opposed to the square. I don't like the consistency of the ones in the round package. I much prefer the consistency of these guys in the square packaging. I think they look glossier on the lips. They feel like more of a hydrating oil compared to the Luxe gloss, which feels a little bit Vaseline-y to me. So I really like these glosses. I don't know that you need all three colors, but I think they are really fun. And that sums up the opal of my eye collection. I like this collection. For me, the Super Shock highlighters are what stands out to me the most, followed by the So Glassy lip glosses. The eyeshadow palettes turn out to be just okay. I think ColourPop has some more standout palettes, but the color stories are really pretty and you're going to enjoy them if you like kind of a lighter eye. And then the shimmering body powder just is not for me. Okay, let's talk about the Jasmine Chiswell collection next. I butchered her name in the beginning, I think, but you can get her full collection for $88 on the ColourPop website. It looks like pretty much everything is in stock and I think it is a cute collection. It's like a Marilyn Monroe retro-ish collection. So there are two two eyeshadow quints in here, three lip sets, and then two luxe glosses. So let's take a look at the eyeshadow palettes first. Now I haven't tried these. I'm not even sure if I'm going to swatch these, but you can buy both of these for $21 if you wish in a set, or you can buy them for $12 individually. So the first palette that we have here is the Such a Starlit palette, and it looks like this is more pinky color. So I'm going to tell you now I'm not going to swatch this because this isn't a color story I'm interested in having in my collection but you have a brown shade a peach shade a pink shade kind of like a barbie pink and then a white shade or i guess more of a gold so this for me isn't a color story that i'm really interested in so i'm going to put this away give it away but this one looks interesting to me this is hello hollywood and this one is 
pretty much an all matte palette. This shade right here is a matte with a little bit of glitters in there, but other than that, it's an all matte palette, and I'm gonna keep this one. I think you can do some really, really neat looks with this, so let's swatch these. These feel pretty nice. I'm into this right now. Yeah, it is an all matte palette, so it's not super exciting. You can see the glitters in here, but I think this is an interesting color story. I think you can do some cool looks with this one, so I'm excited about this one. This one seems pretty nice. I think it's a great deal. $12 for this. I mean, obviously I can't say too much to the quality of these. I like the way that the all matte one swatch. I just didn't feel like I need such a starlet in my collection, so I'm giving it away. But if you like pinks and you want to support the creator, this is great. But this Hello Hollywood one, I am going to have to play with it. It has some really cool colors, I feel like, for winter. It's kind of more cool toned, so I'm excited about this. For me, the standout in this collection were the lip duos. I love when ColourPop does this. So there's a lip liner which I love. ColourPop's lip liner formula and a lipstick, which they also have a great high quality lipstick formula for the price point. And there are three different shades. I'm going to swatch all of them for you because I am super excited. They are $16 each. So they're not the cheapest from ColourPop, but everything's going to come in this box right here. So let's do the red one first. And here's what the packaging looks like. So the red one I think is called Old Flame. So Old Flame comes with Beverly Bungalow Lip Pencil. And yes, these are gonna look crazy against my eye makeup, but I want to make sure that you guys see these. And then the lipstick's name is Sex Appeal. It's a little brighter and a more red, I would say. But ColourPop has a great quality lipstick formula especially for the price point. Obviously, I applied it quickly. It's not a perfect application, but what a fun red lip. That's a nice duo. Okay, let's try the next one. This next one is the one I was most excited about, so. Probably didn't need the red one, but I'm excited about the lip duos from ColourPop, so I had to go ahead and try. So the pink one is called So Dangerous. It's the same packaging, so we have Oh My Lip Pencil. This is a nice color. I don't think I have a lip pencil this color. It's brown. Right? Still a little muted. Then the lipstick's name is so iconic. It's definitely a matte finish. Mm -hmm. This is a nice play on the modern pink lipstick. It's not too crazy, but it still is bright. It still is a Barbie pink. I'm excited about this one. This one I think is gonna be my favorite. The lipstick itself feels a little bit more dry than the kit that had the red, so keep that in mind. But in terms of a unique color, I love this one. I think this one is a fun one for summer. Okay, let's take a look at the last one. This last one's the most wearable. This last one is the set in Hello Angel. Let's see. This is almost like a muted coral shade. A little bit of brown mixed in there. And then It Girl lipstick. Ooh, this is pretty too. This is like a little bit nude, but still has some pop to it. I'm like a mess though, so ignore that. My lip lighting is a mess. But this color is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I look like a five-year-old though who tried to put on her mom's makeup. Ooh, okay, listen, I think the pink one was the most fun, but this one is my favorite in terms of what I would actually wear. I highly recommend this. There also was a couple luxe glosses in this collection. They are $10 each. This is Glamour Shot and this is Platinum Blonde. I said before, I don't really like the luxe lip gloss formula. As you can see, it's in the rounded packaging, but I'm gonna go ahead and try Platinum Blonde because I think it will go with this lipstick, and if I don't like this formula, I'm not gonna open up Red Shade. Let's see how she swatches. Okay, this has more pigment in it than most of the Lux glosses, which I like. Sometimes the Lux glosses are all clear, so I don't know why they release multiple shades. Mm, it's still that texture that I don't really like from the Lux formulas. You probably cannot take me serious with this lip stick all over my face. I'm looking in the mirror like, girl, embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, I like this color though. I really, really do. So overall thoughts of the Jasmine Chiswell collection so far. For me, the standouts, you gotta try the lip duos. That is by far the very, very best item in the collection in my opinion in terms of getting the best of the best formula from ColourPop. I think the colors that Jasmine chose were incredible. Definitely my favorite aspect. I'm not really into the eyeshadow palettes. I'm sure they're fine. There was 
only one color story that really called out to me. But I do like those little guys from ColourPop. And then the Lux glosses, I just don't like their Lux glosses. So I'm not gonna recommend those personally. Okay, so the next collection we're moving on to is the In The Springs collection. This is a fairly large collection. So you get an eyeshadow palette in this one. You get three super shock highlighters. It looks like there are four cream gel liners and then four of the glowing lip formulation. So I'm just putting a little bit of color on my lips. Again, the Lady Gaga House Labs Mauve Matte Lip Crayon. This is just great for adding color to my face. We do have a glowing lip formulation, so I'm gonna stop right here. But let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette first. So this is the In The Springs Pressed Powder Palette. I've been unsure of whether or not I wanted to play with this, but I think I've decided that I want to eventually. I'm just gonna swatch these today, but the color story in here is so fun. So I've decided I wanted to play with it. The eyeshadow palette is going to be $18 individually and I just have a feeling this one's going to be good quality. A lot of mattes like this row, ColourPop doesn't really touch these kinds of shades. Really complimentary shimmer shades. So I'm excited to see how these feel. This is a super shock formulation. So let's get into the swatches, but I have a good feeling about this one. Okay guys, so this palette swatched really, really nice. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so much better than the Opal collection. I can tell you now I'm recommending the In The Springs palette much more over the Opal eyeshadow palettes if you like this color story. The shimmers in here, they feel really nice. Sometimes ColourPop can be a little inconsistent with their shimmers, but these feel good. And the mattes look pretty good. Obviously, I haven't put these on my eyes, so I can't speak on that yet. But from my swatching, and I've played with a lot of ColourPop palettes, I think that this one is going to be a really, really nice one so I don't want to go as far as to say I recommend it but based on swatching of the eyeshadow palettes that I've talked about in today's video this is the one that I would recommend the most I think the color story is really fun but it still can be very neutral you know you have these brown shades you can do a simple gold look use this in the crease and this all over the lid you have a neutral look but you also have a lot of opportunities to play with this I'm excited to get this on my eyes in the next few coming days and I will keep you up updated on Instagram. But let's move on to the next part of this collection. We have three super shock highlighters. Now, two of which are not for my skin tone, which is a good thing because you don't need to pick up all three highlights because they're all meant for different skin tones. But I'm gonna show you. So this one right here is Windmill and it's kind of a really fun copper shade. Probably be used as a blush on myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to a better home because I'm not gonna use it. And then this other one right here is Notch. This one is a little bit more amber bronzy. Again, very gorgeous. I feel like this would look so pretty all over the eyelid. And these are the Super Shock Highlight Formula, which is the same formula that was in the quads in the Opal collection. Love this formula. These are $10 each, by the way. The last one is Flip Flop. So this is the one meant for my skin tone. It's like kind of a tanned golden shade. And it is the highlight that I'm wearing now. I'm going to show you the demo right now. I mean, it's a beautiful highlight. Highlight. I love the way that these super shocks kind of become one with the skin. You do have to be careful with application, like I said earlier, but they are so pretty. I mean, this swatch says it all. This is really pretty. I mean, if you've collected ColourPop, chances are you have Super Shock Cheek Highlight Formula already. If that's the case, you probably don't need this. But if you're looking in this collection, you like the packaging and you like the Super Shock Formula, this one is very, very pretty. I'm very happy with it. Okay, the next category that we have from this collection are the gel eyeliners. So there are four. You can buy all of these in a set, $24. I have two for my eye makeup today day that I use. So I'll show you. First of all, look at the packaging. Really, really cute. So this first one is Honey Dude, which I have already. This is in the regular line, but it's a really nice nude shade. And I have it in my waterline right now. So you'll be able to see how smooth and easily it applied. The ColourPop eyeliners, I think, are very nice for the price that you pay. They aren't the best eyeliners, but they're very useful because you can get colors that you wouldn't want to spend $20 on. Like, I'm not going to use a blue eyeliner 
eyeliner very often, but they're good enough to like pay $6 for to do this every once in a while. The next shade is Crystal Crush. So this is what I have on my upper lash line. Again, it's a very nice, easy, smooth application. It went over the eyeshadow I have today great. Is it the best eyeliner in the world? No, but it gets the job done without breaking the bank. This one is Puppy. It's really fun, a great compliment to the palette. You can see it feels a little smoother than the other ones. This one is fun. I don't know how often I would use this one, but what a fun color. This last one, Overboard, is one of my favorite colors. So I believe these all should exist in the permanent line because I recognize two of the shades. And this is a shimmery brown and it's great for everyday makeup. Really pretty just smudged in the lash line or on the waterline just to add a little definition on the eyelids. So overall, I think that this is a really great set. It's definitely worth the money. Great to have these colors. Not, I would say, your staple eyeliner. You know, there are eyeliners I would recommend you having, but if you want to add more colors to your collection and you don't want to spend $20 a pop, which is the price of a lot of eyeliners these days, these are great. The last part of this collection I'm the most excited about. ColourPop launched new colors of their glowing lips and you can buy them for $28, all four of them, or you can buy them individually for $8. This is my new favorite formula from ColourPop. If you want to try a lip formula, this is the one I'm recommending, though I can't get them out of their packaging. I have not yet played with any of these colors, so I'm excited to see what we're working with. So this is the packaging here. It's the same component, but different designs. What is your name? Adults only. Ooh, this looks like a nice, pretty warm peachy color. So these are great because they start off sheer, but you can build them up. They're really hydrating and comfortable. Like, look at this. These are great to keep in your purse, and they just add the perfect amount of color to the lips. I'm keeping all four of these because I love this formula so much, by the way. <laughs> these are awesome. Then we have Botanical, which is a little bit more nude. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that adds a little bit more warmth to the lips. I'm just gonna put that on the bottom lip. These are all very wearable colors. This next one is mid-century. So this one is, oh, this is the really pigmented one. This is gonna add some color. Let's see, on my top lip. So that's like two swipes. Wow, that is fun. I would recommend wearing a lip liner with this shade. Okay, and then last one. I know I look like a crazy person. <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna have to try this on. This is Desert Aura. It's a little bit more of like a hot orange. Let's try this on. I wanna see this all over the lips. <gasps> This one is so fun for the summer. Oh my goodness. This one's my favorite. This is the most unique, Desert Aura. I don't think I have another one in this color from this line. Really great. Okay, so overall my thoughts about the In The Springs collection. This is a very well-rounded collection. I think looking of all the collections here, this one is my favorite just in terms of what you're getting. The eyeshadow palette is really fantastic. Super Shock highlights, well, you don't need all of them. They are a great formula. The eyeliners I highly recommend, but the glowing lips are probably my favorite, but that's just a personal preference. It's my favorite formula from ColourPop, and since it's new, they haven't come out with a ton of colors yet, but followed by the eyeshadow palette, close second. Everything's good, actually, in this collection. I highly recommend this collection. If you're gonna buy one collection as a whole, this is the one where I feel like you're getting the best quality for the amount of money that you're paying. Let me get myself cleaned up, and we will talk about the last collection. So, this is the last collection that I have to share with you. I just received this in the mail recently. This is the True Loves Kiss Lipstick Vault. And you heard me earlier, I love the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick Formulation. So we have a vault of 10 shades. They also have an eyeshadow vault of the Super Shock Shadows, which I actually do have, but that is not as new, right? No, it is new. So this is the Heart of Gold Super Shock Shadow Vault. So I do have that, but I'm not gonna swatch it. But this is a great value. <laughs> it's on sale right now for $37 for all of these Super Shock shades. I've been really into Super Shock shades. I'm not gonna swatch that, but those look pretty, but I did want to dig into these. Yeah, so there's 10 shades. You can get the whole vault for $69, but if you hold off, you'll be able to get this on sale, I'm certain. Or you can buy the shades for $10. And why I was so inclined and wanted to share this with you is because the shades in here look incredible, beautiful, beautiful, wearable. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch them on my arm, maybe try a few shades out. I'm definitely keeping all of these because I love the theme here, I love the packaging. More 
importantly, I just love this formulation from ColourPop and I don't have a ton of their Luxe lipsticks. So here's what the packaging is gonna look like. Very cute with the D cups and the Disney stuff. Under my nails looks really gross, but I swear it's just from product swatching. <laughs> okay, so first shade that we have here is Belle. This is in no particular order. I'm just grabbing them straight out of the packaging. This is like a pretty mauve berry color. I'm gonna do bottom lip, top lip swatches just so you can kind of see how they look against my skin tone. You see how smooth these lipsticks look on the lips? I love it. And this is a really great color. It's gonna bring out your lips but it's not super nude. Okay, here is Ariel. This one is a little lighter, a little bit peachier. Let's see. Now this is a very pretty nude. Oh my gosh, I love this set. Normally I wouldn't tell you to buy 10 lipsticks, but I'm telling you, the colors here are so pretty. It's a good value. The lipstick colors are so pretty. Okay, Pocahontas. Pocahontas is pretty deep here. Let's see. It has like a hint of orange to it, but it's more of like a reddish shade. All right. I'm dying. There's a Moana lipstick. Oh, it's going over my bone. This one is also a little bit of a deeper shade, has more mauve to it. Ooh, I love the Moana shade. That is so pretty. Princess Aurora is giving us bright. Let's see. Gosh, there is not a color that I don't like in this collection so far. And here is Mulan. You guys know I'm Asian, so I'm partial to Mulan. As a little girl, you know I love Mulan. Pretty, love that. I mean, I'm calling all of them pretty because they are. My lips are getting stained, so it's harder to see the colors. <gasps> Cinderella looks like it's gonna be the most unique color in here. Yeah, okay, let's see. This kind of reminds me of the pinky lip color from the Jasmine Chiswell collection. More purple for sure, less bright. Okay, next we have Merida, which is a red right here. Am I pronouncing that wrong? Let's see. This formula is so good. So smooth. I have Snow White next. This one has definitely got to be red, right? Oh no, it's like a deep berry. Let's see how she looks. Lots of like reddish shades. Okay, this is red. It looked more berry. I look ridiculous right now. Look at the color. Not at my application, please. Okay, Rapunzel. Rapunzel's more berry. Ooh, I like Rapunzel. Rapunzel's one of my favorites. Okay, let's finish out these dang swatches because I look crazy. Jasmine, ooh. No, Jasmine is a hot, hot pink. Jasmine really went there. And then let's get to the last one, which is Tiana. Is it Tiana or Tiara? Tiana. The font's really small. I'm having trouble reading these. And this is gonna be our deepest shade. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. Anyways, I was not expecting to recommend this to you, but you gotta admit, the colors in here are so pretty. The packaging's really cute, and most importantly, the formulation on these are really nice. So even though I thought that this set was a little extra and unnecessary, especially from ColourPop, I'm much more pleased than I intended to be, and I'm actually very happy about this. I need to dig out that Super Shock Vault. I'm not gonna swatch it here, but now I'm intrigued since I liked this so much. Okay, let me get my life together. And I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on everything I talked about today. I must say that that was quite the video. Lots of swatching, but I wanna go over like my personal recommendations. I mean, obviously I haven't tried everything, but I've tried a lot from ColourPop in general, so I can kind of gauge what I think's worth it and what I don't think is worth it. So here are my top talk picks. I think that the new glowing lip formulations are a must. This is one of my favorite lip formulations. My favorite eyeshadow palette you know is the in the springs eyeshadow palette at least of what i tried today can't wait to put this on my eyes i'm expecting this to be good based on swatches surprisingly i'm really into these super cheap quads i didn't think i was going to be also the lip duos in the jasmine chiswell collection i think are phenomenal great formulations here from the lipstick to the lip liners these are definitely a gem and okay my excitement for the vault has died down a little bit because i feel like all of the colors in here are too pinky base. I would have liked to seen a little bit more variety. Like make Pocahontas like a more brown based color. Have a couple princesses be a little bit more peachy than pink. So maybe you don't need the whole thing. I mean I did like the colors in here and I think the formulation is nice and the packaging was really cute. But maybe you don't need the whole vault. So I wanted to update you that on that when I came back down to earth when I was wiping the swatches off of my arms. I also did like the so glassy lip glosses but I don't think they're a must have. In terms of letdowns there weren't many but 
but I was a little let down by these guys only because I was the most excited about these. I don't think they're bad, but not as excited as I once was. The shimmering body powder, you guys know I didn't even bother swatching. The Luxe glosses in the Jasmine Chiswell collection. I just, I don't like this formula. I don't think the eyeshadow palettes are all that either. Hope this video was helpful. It was a play session for me as well, as you could see, kind of wrapping my head around these ColourPop launches because they can get overwhelming for me. This is the second time I've done this. I'm going to continue doing these ColourPop updates slash playtime videos so that I can get my thoughts together as well as help you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have all the products and collections that I talked about linked down below. Thank you so much for sitting through this. And again, a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to shop in the description box. I will have the link to all of the jewelry that I'm wearing and it's definitely worth checking out during their sale. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.